Can you tell me, Cleophantus, was Socrates a great philosopher? Or was he a bitter old man, a cynic and a self-righteous smartass? I don't know, Themistocles. I am distraught to admit that I am impoverished in this domain of understanding. When I consider the case of Echocrates, my mind is affixed in a state of perplexity. Enlighten me, Themistocles, son of Peleonus. Was Socrates a noble forefather, or was he a clever, homeless scum? It is not hard to tell you, Cleophantus. Socrates may have been a master wordsmith, and very well read. But he was also logically inconsistent. He failed in his duties as a father and husband. He was terribly self-righteous and kind of a sourpuss. You are completely in error, Themistocles. You are slandering an archetypal hero, and in doing so you have sold your soul to Hades. Socrates allied himself with virtue, and because you do not listen to him, you fly like a duck without wings. Go, oh, Cleophantus. So I take it that you then have allied yourself with Socrates and with virtue, and so fly like a duck with wings? I certainly do, Themistocles, and I govern my affairs with justice and moderation. Well, to begin, I'm sure you would agree that Socrates was concerned with how people lived their lives. Yes, he was. And he thought that all people sought good things. Of course. And that he must then also have sought good things. Yes, yes. Now, good things come to those who wait, don't they? I agree. So we know that Socrates came to those who waited. By your logic, you seem to be correct, Themistocles. Yeah. Now, goodness is subjective too, isn't it? I agree. Right. So, all the things that Socrates believed to be good came to all of those who Socrates believed to be good. Isn't this true? You seem to be convinced so. No. Well, uh, Socrates was good, wasn't he? Yes, he was. So all good things should have come to Socrates. That's right. So then is death by execution good, Cleophantus? If you say so, Themistocles. But we must not say so. We must not say that death by execution is good, Cleophantus. No, we mustn't. Then our duck stands on faulty ground. And you must flap your Socratic nonsense. You have put words in my mouth, Themistocles. Moreover, the words you have put in my mouth are entirely unintelligible, like the gargle of vomiting pigs. And atop it all, you have made a fool of yourself. Oh! Well, shine a light on me, then. Did you not s say earlier that Socrates was a cynic? Might have. Well, here you have revealed your error. For the cynic that you see in Socrates is really in you. Me? You. Tell me more. Well, you see, Themistocles, ducks live in the water. Any citizen with working eyes can see that this is the case. Do you deny this much, Themistocles, that ducks live in the water? I've often seen them there. And that in living in the water they must be adapted to the water? You're reaching, but I see what you mean. Yeah. And that in being adapted to the water, they can live without solid ground, and that they can also fly. So therefore they are not in peril if they stand on faulty ground, for they can easily take to sky or sea. Do you agree with these things, Themistocles, as any school child of average intelligence would agree? Well, I'll admit that faulty ground is less trouble for a duck than it is for me, but I'm not sure ducks are as smart as you make them out to be. I'm having a difficult time communicating with you, Themistocles. I'm wondering if you've been farming too much. Probably have. You see, you are talking to a rock on Mars. Well, I am talking to a rock on the moon. <laughs> where the light don't shine, where the light don't shine. <laughs> Let's get back to your point about waiting. Forkel was right. To what extent? The utmost extent. Clarify deeply. Minus the catfish. Does this satisfy you, Cleophantus? As satisfied as your calf. <laughs> Coming along nice, is he? Like the daylight. God reeks for the quarrelsome, doesn't it? <sighs> Sitting in a church pew singing Beautiful Savior. Mm. My heart on fire. And mine on stone. Ah, the fear and the mystery. Bled to the earth like raisins. Unto my sleeping heart, no, no bowels. Explosive firecracker! There! 
Do not wait for the interpreter. Based on intensity aggravation. I couldn't tell you what for. <sighs> I'm reading too deeply into things, Themistocles. Well, let's try to set things straight. Was Nietzsche a great man? <laughs> too soon to say. Silly salad balls. But get down, Cleophantus. The ducks are coming to roost. Well, I'll be a Homer's hanky. Deny me this, but we shall see the night. I'm willing to let this slip into salad.